Hi friends, it's Steffi, and welcome to another Cos and Con video on my channel. Before we get started, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Steffi Blue Bear. So today I'm going to be showing you my convention badge collection. It is 2020, it's a new decade, so I wanted to show you guys all of the convention badges that I've collected over the last 10 years. Well, I haven't been going to conventions for 10 years, but for the past decade and the past few years that I've been going to conventions. Um, I'm just going to put a disclaimer right here that there are some badges from this one convention that everyone's boycotting at the moment. So please don't hate me for have going to them, but I am no longer going to these cons this year or any other year until further notice. So um, just wanted to let you guys know. We're going to be starting off with the very first convention that I ever attended. And that convention is Anime Central. Um, it is hosted in Rosemont, Illinois. And I collected like a year's worth. I started going to conventions back in 2013. I went, my first year going to ASIN, which is Anime Central, short for Anime Central. Um, I um, was in an anime club, which I was the president of, um, in high school. And we were able to actually go our first year of the club being, you know, running to Anime Central, which was pretty cool. So my very first ASIN or Anime Central badge was this one. So it's, it, it actually, I didn't, I wasn't able to get the cool like plastic, hard plastic one. I got like those paper ones, so it was, and they gave it to me in this theme because it was paper. But it was, looks like this, I think it was like their Sweet 16, it was what the theme with that year was. I went with my anime club when I was in high school, and I, we went on a Saturday. Now some of the classmates in my anime club were able to get like a 3D badge for some reason. I guess they ran out of Saturday badges and they gave them that, which I of course jealous was because I was the president and I got a Saturday badge. But you know what, it's okay. Because I ended up going, you know, every year since then. So that's the first year I went was 2013. So the next year I went was 2014. Um, and... This is how it looks like. I have a little button, that little like banner on the bottom of it. I think I passed by a booth and like they gave out a little banner. So this one ha is how that one looks like. Um, I went for three days. I actually ditched school on Friday to actually go to this con. And I'm really grateful that my dad actually drove me and two of my friends to the con the whole weekend. Um, I'm honestly not really sure what their theme was that year. I forgot. But I think it was like, like city life. Because that's how that looks like the next year for anime uh for anime central was 2015 um i in 2014 i graduated high school so even though i was already graduated this one kind of like was really cool so it was like their graduation year that was 2015. also 2015 was the very first year for anime central that i ever uh, roomed with anyone for a convention, um, which was really cool. So the next year was 2016. Uh, I forget again what the theme was. I think it was, it says, Here's to the Outlaws, the Rebels, and the Mavericks. So I guess it was just that kind of theme. I really like collecting these badges. So that's that year. The next year was 2017 and I really did like the theme and like how the badge looked it was kind of sparkly so it was like kind of not holographic but it was just really cool. I put tape here because the little I guess clear part was starting to peel off and I obviously didn't want it to peel off because they collect these badges. Oh another reason why I like this badge was because it was their 20th anniversary year and so that's why everything looked really cool and like just really cool so that was that year then 20 so now the next one was 2018 and it was pirate themed which i really did like it was really cool and i also started collecting the t-shirts back in 2015 for this con so the very last year that i've been to which was last year 2019 was like their camp theme and this is how the badge looks like Actually, um, 2018 for ASIN was one of their first years where they had like little photo, photo booth areas um, like they had photo booth, um, they had little, uh, little scenes like, uh, how do I say it, um, they had like a school, a school thing like with desks and stuff and they had like a bridge with like sakura leaves in the background and then they had like a castle and like 2019 obviously they added more stuff but it was just really cool. They just started adding cool little photo booth areas for people who want to take 
cool photos at a convention and it was just really cool so I really appreciated that. So the next con that I went to that I started going to was Anime Midwest and um, my first year ever going to Anime Midwest was Anime Midwest 2014 and I had just graduated from high school and this was actually my very first convention when I started actually working for conventions. Um, so that was really cool. So this is the badge. This is the badge for the first year that I went, which was 2014. These badges are actually real big, so to kind of show them it's real complicated. But as you can see, it says staff. So I was staff for a few years for this con. So it's a cute little little girl. So the next year's badge was 2015. Um, and 2015 Anime Midwest was the very first Anime Midwest that, Anime Midwest that I roomed with people. Um, and again, I was staff that year, so it has this. On it, that's how the badge looks like. The next year I went was 2016, and it was like sort of a water underwater theme. Again, I was staff that year. The next badge was 2017, and I think this was the last year I was ever staff. So here's that badge, and that's how it looks like. And then this is 2018's badge. So this is when I stopped working for that convention and I just ended up being an attendee. See it says weekend instead of staff. And then this is how the badge looks like. And then this is the past year's badge that um, had just passed by. And again, uh, mine says weekend. And this is how it looked like. I'm sorry, like, it's, it's kind of a little saturated. There we go. That's that year's badge. Um, one of the reasons why I stopped working for this con was because my boyfriend, as you guys know, he lives in California and he came to visit me actually for the next con I want to mention. And so I didn't want to staff when he came. I wanted to spend all my time with him as much as possible so I didn't want to like have to work a con and then him be there. So I stopped working because I wanted to spend time with him and then like when the summer cons came up I decided, you know what, I don't want to work for them anymore. I want to actually enjoy the majority of the con without having to worry about working certain shifts. So that's why I kind of stopped. So the next convention that I went to was Con Out the Lee and that is the same, it's um, the same company that does Anime Midwest hosts Con Out the Lee. Um, so my first Con Out the Lee was Con Out the Lee 2014. It was constantly 2014 and it looks like this. See, it says staff on it and this is how that year's badge looks like. The next year's badge for Count Elite was Count Elite 2015 and again I was staff for that con. It's just like a simple badge, nothing too complicated. Next uh, was 2016 and it was actually a really cute badge. See, I have some staff again, and it's a really cute badge. I really like this badge, this year's badge. It was really cute. And then uh, 2017, this is my first year for Conley where I wasn't staffing because this is a year that my boyfriend came to visit me, and he came for the convention to hang out with me and stuff. So this is how that year's looked like. Again, it says weekend for me, and this is how it looks like. And then kind of 2018, my boyfriend did come visit me again for the same con. And this is how this year's bed looks like. I have to I, um, I have to show it horizontal because the image is sort of horizontal. So you can see it this way too, but mine says weekend. And then you can look at it horizontally. So that's how that one looks. And then this past year's badge was 2019. It was also a pretty good, like, the badge was pretty cool. And again, um, 2019. Come on. There we go. It says weekend for me. I actually paid in cash this con because I was just wasn't really sure if I was gonna go to this con. And then last minute when I did end up going, I paid in cash. So that's how that badge looks like. So the next convention that I started going to was a convention called C2E2, and it's short for Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo. They usually hold it towards like between winter and spring, um, but this year it's gonna be in February. Last year was in uh, March, and then the year before was in April, but um, so I started, I actually was a staff for this convention as well for like two years, um, because, and this was actually one of the cons that I worked for that actually did pay you minimum wage. I work for Anime Midwest, and they usually will only pay you like $40 for the whole weekend, which, you know, it's something, but it's not as good as C2E2 was. So, the first year I worked for C2E2 
was 2016 and this is how the crew badge look like so for C2E2 they have a difference between staff and crew so the staff members for C2E2 are the people who always fly to every con under this under the company to like help with the con now crew members are people who were who live around the area who decided they want to help with the con um, so that's the difference between crew and, and staff for C2E2 but for I mean, Midwest and all those other uh, you know cons staff is like basically the same thing so uh, this is 2016's year I was a crew member this is how our crew badge looks like and then C2E2 2017 uh, this is the crew badge it was really cool it was like a uh, baseball themed this was actually my last year being crew because I started making uh, cosplay music videos and I wanted to actually like enjoy the con and not have to like um wait is this the last year? I don't remember. I, I don't think I think 2018 was my last year but that's how 2017 crew badges look like. Okay yeah 2018 was my very last year working for C2E2 as a crew member and it had a cute tentacle kitty. I don't know why there was this uh blank space right there because the other ones didn't but this is how the crew badges look like for 2018 this was my last year when i worked for ttE2 and it's mostly because i wanted to make half of music videos and i couldn't do it to the extent i wanted to because of the fact that i had a staff or that i decided to be a crew member so that was my last time ever working for ttE2 i wouldn't mind working for them again but if i'm gonna be wanting to do Coffee music videos. I don't think I will. And last year's badge was um, I was I actually paid for my badge. It was a three day. So this one, how it looks like. It's it's really cute. It's a puppy cat one. So that's really cute. I haven't been going to C2E2 as long as I have the other cons. Like I've only been going. I only went to four C2E2 so far. All the other ones I've been like six or seven times maybe. But these badges are a lot, are like smaller than the other ones, but I still really like to collect them. So that's that. Well, the next con is actually a one-day free con that the I think the University of Chicago holds. But I started going back in 2016, so it's a free one-day con at this college, and um, it's really it's a really cute con. It's real small, but it's real fun. So my first year was 2016, and obviously their badges are paper but it's really nice so they gave my badge in like a little little slidey thing it says uchikan i'm not even sure how to pronounce it i call it uchikan or uchikan i don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it but that's uchikan 2016 it has my name and then my badge name and then uh yep the school name which is the university of chicago and then that was that year and then i went again in 2017 um and this is when they actually instead of writing your name they would just print your name um, so that's how that one looks like. Now, I don't have a badge for 2018 because I didn't go that year. Not only did I did not have anyone to go with, but I wasn't sure at the time how to get there because I didn't have a smartphone yet at that time. I wasn't able to Uber there, so I just didn't go. Um, and also for University of Chicago, if you don't register in time, then they'll give you like a wristband when you arrive instead of like a printed one. Which is, you know, fine. It's a one-day badge. And then the last time I went was last year, 2019. And this is how that one looks like. So even though, like, these... This is, like, a free con. I still collect the badges. So I really like that. Um, so this next con is actually a new con. And I only went to it for one day. And it is called... Comic Con Revolution, and this is how the badge looks like. It is also whole. It's also held in Rosemont, Illinois, where usually all the other cons are held at, like the anime cons and stuff. Um, it was an okay con. It wasn't the best since it was really new and real small. Like it was real small, smaller than Con of the Elite. You got through the whole dealer's hall within like 30 minutes, and they didn't really have panels or anything. There was no panels. There was like no guests or anything it was just basically going there to buy stuff and i and it was like not a lot of people cosplaying either because of how small the con was um but it was it was okay i probably won't go to it again this year but it was just good to go for for one day just to see so that's how that one looks like and so the last con that i've ever gone to is called wizard world and they always go around every city they're always called Wizard World, but obviously I went to Wizard World Chicago, and I staffed that con for two years, and I've only been for, to that con for three years, so 
Um, as a staff member, they gave you like um. So as a staff member, you get a wristband. So this con would give the uh, wristbands instead of um actual like um what do you call it like badges. So even though I was um okay, let me. So as a staff member, I got a volunteer little thing. So I think this was the first year I got was just a black and white one, which well, this was 2017, and then in 2018 I got the same one, but it was in color. Looks like like that. Excuse me. And then as a staff member, they also give you a wristband. So then when you when you're like not volunteering, you're like working, you can take off your lanyard and then just show your wristband. They will always put it on your left arm. So the first year when they gave me a badge, they actually gave me the wrong year's, um, they gave me the wrong year's badge. <sighs> Hold on. For the wristbands, um, for 2017 they gave me this wristband, um, but it, it was actually the wrong year's wristband because even though it doesn't say the year, the con was definitely not on the 8th through the 11th, it was like the 20 something. Um, but since they had, I guess for the staff members, they had extra from last year, they just gave these to us. So I guess, you know, recycling. And then in 2018, when I also staffed, they gave me this, um, which I, I only staffed for two days that year. So they only gave me a two day wristband, but it's like heavy duty, so I was still able to like, I could have probably gone for like all four days if I, if I sneaked in, but I didn't. So they gave me that. Um, so it just says Wizard World and then um, just two days. And that's basically it. And then this past year, 2019, was the last year I went to Wizard World. So all it says is the small W that represents Wizard World and then Weekend. And it was like a blue wristband i didn't get any lanyard because i wasn't a volunteer and i wasn't vip or anything so i basically just got this um so i do understand the concept of wristbands because they don't want people to just like lose their badges or just try to switch it because this one was this was this wristband was actually pretty tight it's like more complicated i'm not going to try and put it on but it was kind of hard to get off um but they do it so then people can, won't like switch badges and try and get people in for free um, but a lot of the times, people want to cosplay, and they can't have their wristband on their wrist because of their cosplay. Um, it's just like a whole ass complicated story, like wristbands are smart, but it's kind of like, whatever. But that's all I have for Wizard World because they really didn't give me a badge or anything. So for the time being, I leave all of my convention badges in here, in this plastic bag that I have. I do have the lanyards, but I don't keep them attached to the badges. Um, I can care less about like displaying them on the badge and the on the lanyards, but I do want to display them like maybe on a cork board or something. But for now, until I find a way to display them, I have them in this convent um, not this convention, but I have them in this little baggie. Is where I store them, and I am one of those people. And I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of more people out there who you know like to collect convention badges. Um, not only is it a good memory, but you technically paid for that badge, so of course I'm going to be keeping it. Um, especially if that con is like no good anymore. It's just good to remember like, oh I went that, that, that year and that year was a pretty good year. So I do keep all my badges. Um, and before, before we go, I also just want to say that um, staffing a convention is a good way to not only get your badge for free, but to make like some awesome friends because staffing a convention I did make some friends so uh, a, a lot of pretty good friends so don't be afraid to try and staff it I use I used to staff uh, conventions because I was like oh I can't afford to buy this badge but now that I have a job and ho more hobbies that I can do without having the staff I just don't staff anymore so that's that I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, comment down below do you have any of the same badges that I do I would really like to know if you really enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe I would really appreciate it and until next time bye